Well, the right, hell of you two land. My name is Wild Boy Fuzz 99 Welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Sky Eyes. We're picking up where we left off in the last episode. If you're wondering why my eyes are watering and all that, I was recording. I, I pick, I'm literally recording as soon as I got done with the last video. So, sorry if my emotions are still as bad as the last video, but I'm trying to bear through this stuff. Anyway, we're picking up where we left off in the last episode. Last episode, we told Suri, we liked, we liked her, and she explained that she had depression, and it didn't go so well, so we called her mom. She gave us some really, really good advice, and hopefully it gets better. I hope. Uh, I'm hoping I make the right decisions to get the good ending. Anyway, let's continue. Man, I'm glad it's Saturday today. There will be no chance in hell that I'll be concentrated with Taylor at school. A revelation keeps me replaying over and over my mind. Depression, a nasty sounding word. And in some ways, quite porn. I guess I was kind of sheltered prior to school where I never knew any people with the condition. It was something I was, of course, aware of, but never paid any real thought to it. Man, I knew what it was. Psychology, I was been the least regular interest to me, but I never really saw the real reason to look to it. And Siori said that she's been depressed most of her life, so I can't help but wonder when did it all develop? What caused it? Was she bullied? Or was a close friend a close friend or family member died? There are so many things that I want to ask right now. But mom said give it to give it's best to give Siori some time to cool off. I'll give it a couple of days. Besides, I've got a lot of homework to do getting on with. Well that Shakira is out of the way first. Man, the end of a war was a huge epic to the world. It's time for a break, I reckon. What to play, what to play. It's really a first world problem to have so many games available but still not know what to play. Hmm. A color four title catches my eye. Fun fact, I have literally like $14 on my Steam account and that has been there since fucking February because I'm waiting for two games. Of course, I'm waiting for Honey Pop 2 and Emily's Away 3. Both of them don't have release dates. Uh, Kyle Silly, the developer of Emily's Away, of the Emily's Away game, hasn't posted any games updates since like... I don't know, either like April or May. He hasn't given any updates. He said it's supposed to be out this summer. And we're going in. The, we're halfway through August, and there's no no updates. However, Honey Pop, Honey Dev, or Honey Pop, the Honey Pop creator said he's 96 percent done complete with the game. So I'm hoping to God this game comes out at least this year because the game was supposed to be released in 2018. It got pushed back to 2019. It got pushed back to 2020. We're ha we're pretty much halfway through with 2020, and the game's still not out yet. So I'm hoping to God it comes out this year. Otherwise, that game, that fourteen dollars is gonna be in Steam for a fucking year. Colorful league that catches my eye. Man, never even get a video game's doing the trick. Perhaps I should go for a walk instead. Being cooped up indoors probably isn't the best favor of my health. My arm used to hover about me the importance of fresh air. I stand up and stretch wherever I'm rubbing my neck, but some fresh air wouldn't go wouldn't go amiss. At this point of the day, the park is rather quiet. Not as many people come to the park. Part of the park. What a shame because this part is annually the most prettiest thanks to the lake. But being, in the, but being in the middle of November, there's a definitely chill in the air. There's a couple of lower in the air, especially the overwhelming nature last night. The silence is part is the silence is the perfect antidote being therapeutic and calm. Sure, I have the house to myself, but there's no substitute for fresh, cool air. Maybe my parents were right and they wanted to keep a healthy body in my mentor. As calm as the atmosphere is, it's not doing much world of attention by my mind. Looking back, how can I ever be so stupid? How do I miss all the signs? Am I really that dense? Thinking about it, the fairy tale poem makes me so makes so much sense now. The selflessness, the devotion to keeping others happy, regardless of our own mental state. The signs were just there, struggling to wake up one time with feeling why she's always late, and the nightmare when she finally told me she had a painful secret. How did I respond? I shouted at her, making her cry. Great friend you are, Colton. No wonder she didn't even tell me in the first place. I was so pushing the meaning that she told me instead of being empathetic and understanding. I did the exact opposite. It wouldn't be surprised if she didn't want to be friends anymore. Would she forgive me? Although whatever should she should be not be a weather question. Even if she did forgive me, what can I do what can I do about her profession? Her self promotion seems so cremate cemented. Would I make things work for getting involved or would I be able to help her? I don't know, I don't know. Being a normal teenage guy doesn't really afford much self sensibility. Even though it might sound a bit medical melodrama, I can't help but feel like I barely even know Sea anymore. How much happiness is just her, is just a mess. It can't be all that. Colton, being so lost, I didn't even notice you're printed. Oh, hey, Yuri. Didn't see you there. I'm not bothering you, am I? You look rather deep in thought. Oh, you're fine. I was trying to... Would, would be nice to have some company, actually. She smiles silently and takes a seat next to me. The accumulative signs is not awkward size, which surprised me. Then again, Yuri is strange, no stranger to deep thoughts, and she's definitely reflected and quiet. I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't expect me to come to a quiet was getting dark, especially in the middle of winter, huh? Not really, no. The dark and cold combined ten post put most people off. If you don't mind me asking what brings you here, well, there's a lot in my mind. I can figure some fresh air will be good, you know. Oh, I see. Perhaps we're more alike than I first imagined. 
Whatever is troubling, I always kind of feel it reflected to me quite helpful. Something about a stillness of the night. It's much easier to think when you're in an environment such as this one. Yeah, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed, we can't help but take a step back and breathe. I actually know this part for as long as I can remember. My parents used to take CR8 and I hear all the time. Countless memories throughout the years. That sounds wonderful, Colton. To you, let's share happy times with someone as both of you grew up. Although I'm curious, how much time do you two see been each other with another? I wouldn't thought Siri would be here with you, you know. I look down lonely picking up a twig in my shoe. Well, we kind of had a fight. Oh, that comes quite a surprise given how she spoke with the two to me. Then again, I'm surprised it's invented the fight's going to occur between Trap and no matter their dynamics. Yuri starts filming with her hair. Not that I mean the part, but when I ask you what you're planning on in the first place, I grimly replies that I enjoy talking to you, Yuri. I appreciate your company. There's no way I can reveal the serious secret to her. It's not that I don't want to tell you it's nothing personal, but I just, I understand completely, Colton. I suppose it was a rather personal question. She just told me something really private, and I, that's a horrible feeling. I she and Bubba whenever I react to their confession. I didn't, I didn't take it very well. So I said something really stupid. I got angry at her, and I shot at her. I'm an awful friend. I lean forward, burying my face in her friends. There's an awkward, heavy silence for a few moments. Colton, I know that I haven't known you for as long as he already has, but please believe me when I say you're not an awful friend. I don't know what was said between you two, but everyone says things they don't be during argument, especially when their tensions are running high. There's so, there's something my parents once told me, and it's really true. If you take an argument with if you take my argument with Natsuki back in September, it was the heat of moment I said some rather hurtful things. However, I didn't actually mean that. I'm fairly confident that Natsuki feels the same way too. Please don't be too hard on yourself. I can tell Sierra means. A lot to you, and you're, and you're even so patient and kind with her. I may not be bold, if I'm in the perhaps you don't realize, but you do a lot for her. Little things such as walking her to school with her in the mornings and walking home in the afternoons. But most importantly, whenever she's feeling sad, she takes it upon herself to find what's wrong with her and to comfort her. We can all see things, we can all see that you care and concentrate her shine like a beacon. Yeah, that's, that's all well and good and all, but I'm still hurt really badly. Friends always hurt each other. Colton just an unfortunate of being a human. From what I gather, she isn't someone you can hold a grudge. So whatever the issues between you guys, I'm confident you'll be able to sort it out. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so presumptuous or anything. Uh, you're not. You're, uh, your insights have been really refreshing. I still feel bad. He never realized that perhaps things aren't as bad as they seem. So thank you, seriously. You mean a lot. You're really a good friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Colton. I'm glad I was able to help. I can't help but grin. Yuri shyness has always been endearing, especially clashing with you and your allergy mature outlook so much. Anyway, could I ask you the same question? What brings you here? Well, it's okay. You don't have to disclose anything. I'm on prep. But just know that if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here and so are the other girls, okay? I remember how horrible those people did in the festival recite you were to you. I, can't, I hate the thing they were, you were suffering in silence or anything like that. Well, then you're truly too kind. I very much appreciate your words. I'm very glad to see her told you about her, about her club. I know I said it back in September. I know I said it back in September, but I'll say it again. I'm just as grateful that you guys accept me with open arms. You didn't judge me because I was a poet. No, you ever laughed at my poems were. I know that it was pretty protect, peculiar to your taste, but you still gave me good advice and feedback. Well, I believe everyone should be included. No one deserves to be an outcast, respectable of their hobbies, insights, and wearability. I just wish others could be accepted and as inclusive of the ones which go against the norm. She's nearly picking up their sleeves, almost pulling them with her hands. Well, for what it's worth, I think your inches horror taste in there is just probably pretty cool, Yuri. It makes a nice change for discussion and gives your interest stuff to talk about. Like when you discuss Frankenstein's monster with me at lunchtime. I never really gave it too much thought, but after you had talked with me and helped me realize that we shouldn't that we shouldn't just take stuff in face of value. Oh, and your poems are awesome. I hope one day I'll be able to write the level right at your level. That really means a lot. I'm glad I have such an open mind, Colton. In this day and age, to find someone prejudice and discomfort. They truly breath the fresh air. Thank you. Anyway, I don't mean to cut short of the other discussion, but unfortunately, I have a lot of homework to get work on. Oh, yeah, me too. Procrastination can only go so far, huh? Catch you, like, catch you later, Yuri. Hope everything gets better. You too, Colton, with the way we both depart. That, that's, that makes me really like Yuri a lot more. I don't have a f least favorite char character in Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't hate any of the characters. I really don't. I really love love them all. I really. I. I can't. I can't hate any of the characters in Doki Doki Literature Club. But it shows because this game shows you, or just the original game, it shows that these four char characters care so much about you more than 
most people you know, and that's just such a damn shame. People make fun of your disabilities, make fun of your depression. It's just, they just don't, because they, they do that kind of stuff because they don't know what it's like. They're, they don't deal with that kind of stuff. They don't deal with the stuff you're going through. It's such a damn shame. I love that transition. It's really nice. What now? We're going to, nope, not at three yet. Beep, beep, beep. Another day in school. At least it's been November, so now Christmas break isn't too far off. Oh, yeah. In the United States, we get a Thanksgiving break and a Christmas break. Remember, in college, we got like a fucking month off, so that was good. After finishing my morning wrap, I head outside, tentatively waiting for CR. Years worked really helpful, but I was named to thank work for just get back to wall. There's no sign of CR. I felt texting everyone was off the table. With a sign, I make my journey to school alone. Learning about the inner ways of school means it should be interesting. Even without, even with security's enthusiasm and humor injected into the lessons, I still can't find myself enthusiastic about the couple topics he's discussing. Despite my best effort to remain occupied over the weekend, the worry I have for Sarah, I, will, I was always there, looking back in the back of my mind. I hate this silence. Not being able to talk to someone you really want to talk about is crushing. Colton, I don't suppose you'll be able to answer this question. Not now, teacher. Huh? Please don't tell me I'm such a boring teacher that he can't even pay attention. If the word got out I'm sending my students into stiffer, I'll get fired on the spot. Although I'll probably do well with this hypnotic business. There's a light smile of laughter in the classroom. He's looking at the course myself. Sorry, sir. Uh, I don't understand this question. Can, I don't understand the question. He would be that he does someone like answer him not approval. Although the trace of the certain features. The rest of the class lesson drags on and I feel like a snail's pace. We're supposed to be taking notes from our textbook and answering the questions. But the nine has been autopilot ever since I woke up this morning. By all accounts, the progress I've made has been pretty medical. Everything okay, Colm? He's keeping his voice low, crouching next to mine. You don't seem quite yourself today. Pardon me if I don't, if that's an incorrect assessment. He rushes towards my mouth. You're normally ahead of the game when it comes to your classroom. Not that I mind too much. Everyone's allowed to slack now and then again, right? He shuts it, but I barely move on. Yeah, I'm good, sir. Sorry, I just had a long week and might as well attempt to stab a human. And by a long week, I don't mean staying up playing video games. That's a shame. I was kind of weakened on the best one. Anyway, just do your best for now on. You got a good grasp on topics, so don't worry about it too much for now. Just make sure you know the material before Dece or December's exam. Got it, sir. Thank you. Whew! I was expecting some kind of story telling me about my lack of progress. Bells about the ring, everyone. We'll call it here. And I'm making my way outside, spot a familiar right bow. Hey, Cole, it's Monica. I'm about to head to lunch, huh? Yeah. I'm really sorry, but I won't be coming to the club today. She raises an eyebrow. Why is that? Being totally honest with you, I'm just not really in the mood for it. There's just some sort of stuff I need to deal out. If I, if I came, I don't think I'll be very good company anyway. She nods, but it's hard to read the expression on her face. Okay, that's understandable. By the way, you haven't seen Suri around, have you? She didn't come to school today. Do you know why? Funny she should ask that. No clue. Sorry. Hmm, strange. Well, I hope you sort out whatever it is that's bugging you soon. Thanks, and I'm sorry once again for Bella. It's okay. It'll be quite a session today, I guess. The three of us. It'll still be interesting to see what it's like. Anyway, I gotta go. See you around, Colton. See ya. Why do I get the nagging feeling that she's judging me for something? Oh well. Much like the walk to school, the return it was filled equal to empty. With another pain of guilt, I remember all those little jobs I used to fire her way about being lazy and to get out of bed. Why is this brain? Why is that our brains are so good at reminding? When that's the times we say that we really regret. Exactly. A tiny voice of reasoning with and tells me that I had no way of knowing struggling to get up on time. I mean, it's not like to see her hurt with the joke. They play, they kind of play for bandages, kind of friendship. I thought, I just wish I could believe that tiny voice of reasoning a little more. As I make my way to my house, I notice a figure sitting by the doorway. I roll my eyes by the urge to go on my move to do with some way or another trying to get believing God. Wait, hang on. That's Siori. Siori! She heard sit up the sound of my voice. What are you doing here? Um. Instead of a truly unexpected, and neither of us know what to say the aftermath of the video. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Thanks. After dumping my school stuff down, I turn to face you to awkward this face. There's so much I want to say, but I don't even know where to start. I'm really sorry, Colton. Tears of me feel so very powerful desire to embrace her with more. I really shouldn't have kicked you out like that. I've been so horrible to you keeping you in the dark. I was so scared that the whole thing is just so confusing. No, Siri, it's me who should be it's me who should be apologizing. I'm so sorry for being so pushy and shouting you for being such a lousy friend. I've been regretting at how I acted fr on Friday ever since. Please don't hate me. Sorry, Tums or I'm sorry without resist. I can never hate you, silly. You're my best friend. I was so... Damn it. Click here. God damn it. I can't help with the heartbreak she claims. I'm simply wrap my arms around her and she holds me close. Sarah, you're so silly sometimes. You know that? 
Never push me away. I got the hiccups. God damn. Really? At this point? Fuck. Go away. Although recently I've been wondering if I deserve to be. Why? I shouted at you when I made you cry. A few tears. A few of my own tears start to leave with a concern all over my her face. She leans forward and carefully brushes my tear away. It's the last thing I want to do. I hate myself for it. Colton, it's okay. Looking back, I really can't blame you. It must be so frustrating from your own perspective. I just want things to go back to normal. Can we please just put this all behind us? It's like a huge weight has been lifted on my soul over just hearing those words. Of course we can. Uh, here's what I was thinking you did. I was thinking you didn't want to be friends anymore. I could never stay mad at you, Colton. You mean too much to me. Can we agree that we're both a bunch of clowns as bad as we can be each other? Sure, gives me a water which muscle can just on a little harder. That sounds fair. Oh, and hear that laugh again. And I'll, I'll always be here for you, okay? Even though I can be a dance idiot sometimes, that will never change. She looks up, her eyes swimming with tears. She tears all down. Charles will see right with You really mean that? I gently thumb away away my tears. Of course I do. She burrows into my chest and feels incredibly by honing on the state for me. So that's why you waited outside my house? Yeah, I really wanted to see you, but I couldn't face school today, and I wasn't sure if you wanted to get wanted to see me. Her voice is so slightly muffled, like talk, talks into my shirt. It's kind of funny what I think about it. We both... We both thought the other person didn't want to see us while we were wanting to see each other. And, uh, Siori, whatever you like. She goes into my chest and close it. I can actually feel the vibration from her laughter. Yuri told me that she didn't think we were kind of the person to stay angry for so long. She looks up. Yuri? Yeah, I bumped in there over the weekend while I was at the port and needed some fresh air that night. Don't worry, I didn't rub on much. I just told her we had to fight. She was really empathetic and understanding. Oh, that sounds like her. She's such a dependable friend. Anyway, I guess she's right. I hate the confidence. I don't like saying angry at people. Well, that's super convincing for an idiot like me, isn't it? I was going to try to find you earlier, but I thought I should give it a time at first. Oh, well, that's at least we're here now. I'm glad you came to find me. I'm super glad we made it up. Oops, I got your shirt all super wet. Sorry about that. No good. Not the first time you spilled something off me, is it? Oh, you mean that with... Hold up, Siori. One time? Okay, you made your point, Mimi. We both share a laugh, and my, and my God, does that laugh feel good to hear. Just like that, all the tension stress every craving of the past few years have left. Less. It's like I can finally breathe again. Anyway, look, Sierra, I have some time what what you told me on Friday. I'll be honest with you, I didn't understand depression at all. I can't imagine what you're going through. But what I do do is I'll, I'll do my best to be there for you, even if we're just as friends. I know you said you'd like me too, but you won't share about your feelings. So we can go ahead whatever pace you want to go, even if at all. It's really frustrating because I really do like you, Colton. I really do. I just, she bites your lip anxiously. I hate to drag you down, to get involved with my mates. I know... You like you like to see that Sierra, but I completely different. No one is forcing you to make my decisions. I'm choosing to get involved because I want to, because I like you, and I don't see you as a burden at all. Think of all the times you helped me feel better, all the other girls in the club. You're so good at keeping everyone's spirits high and breaking that fight for story to face. Would it be really wrong well for me to give something back to you? I know you don't see me, you see it too much, but you work a lot to see how much you care about. But Colton, there are so many other things, other people out there who are more worthy of your time. None of those people are you, though. No one else on this planet could ever replace you. I grew up with you, Sierra. You're my best friend for a reason. All the other happy memories we share, the jokes, the stories, the adventures, I share them with you and only you. You're such you're such a big reason how my childhood was so happy. Really? Of course, we used to see each other all the time, like every day. Our parents say we were so inseparable. And even here we are now. Even years before we get along like nothing ever happened. So believe me when I see you're very special to me and you have a heart of gold. Whether you can see it or not. Oh, Colton. She starts to sniffle again. No one has ever said something like that to me before. Well, I'm glad to be the first. I'm still unsure. It's still really confusing, but your hugs are really comforting. Just fucking kiss already. That makes me feel everything might be okay with just a few moments. I know what you want You want me to say, but I don't know. I still feel like I'm being selfish. And I thought you liking me back would make the rain clouds in my head go away. It's like the little rain of sunshine, but it's still strange. Even my mom... Told me that depression has no quick fix. You already was so disappointed. My mom said it wouldn't be too easy. I guess I'm really starting to find out how difficult this can be. That's okay, Siori. I guess it was not me to think we can come in and fix everything. That would be nice, though. I guess we can just start talking about everything. Taking everything really slow. Like, can we not jump on one official dates or tell everyone we're together just yet? Wait, we're together? Of course, we're there where we go, like I said. I'm not making the wrong choice, though, am I? Just please tell me if I'm being a burden. I won't hold you against you. And it won't be a burden anymore. You don't have to worry about that at all. Trust me. Although as much as I like you, I don't want you going through with this just because it's what I want. No, I kind of want it to. Kind of. I do want it. I just kind of, I just can't shake it off the feeling I'm not worth your time. 
And even though what you said just really helped me feel worthless to sometime I felt for a long time, it's hard to shake off the feeling. But being with you and the rain clouds don't feel so bad. It'll be okay, Siri. I know it will. I'll see you through I'll see you through the storm and I'll be your umbrella. That's actually one of the sweetest things you ever said to me. Poetic too. Looks like the literature club's really rubbing off on you. I know, right? It's definitely the I'll definitely be the next day there. Just you wait. Anyway, I guess it's the best thing we're taking slow because December exams are coming up. As much as I really don't want to, we should probably be focusing on those. Yeah, you're right. But once they're over, I take your hand, lock your fingers with mine. We'll just have to wait, won't we? Anyway, speaking of work, I should probably get started on revision. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll see you later, Co okay? Okay. I hold my home being base once more. I hope to be able to hold her close to me with other sin playing with her hair. It's heaven. Before I can stop myself, I'm playing a soft kiss on her forehead. Briefly closing the door before, she, before my mind catches up to my lips. I swear I can hear soft needles to close the door behind me. Do I want to go through one more day or not? I'm not sure. Eh, fuck it. We'll do one more day. Why not? Okay, everyone, we finished sharing poems a little early today, so I've got a little bit of free time before we have to pack to go away. Don't know about you guys, but I'm super relieved that all the exams are over. Exams are over! God damn, we're done. The past two weeks have been a blur right now. Frantic last minute cramming into the bucket of stress. Student life in a nutshell. Welcome to school. Thankfully, today marks the end of the assessments. It also didn't help that I was dying to spend more time with you. Me too, how did everyone's exam go? Next bag, to be honest. I was never a huge fan of math, so that would have could have gone better. Tell me about it. Physics wasn't too much better. Code, cum, Q-Mom's Law, all Mom's Law, Land's Law, and I still don't get any of them. Biology went pretty well, though. We're learning about the brain for the semester. So many different paths that give funny names. Labelling was a tricky, though. It's fascinating to think others were leading the brains for work in their own process at all. Don't you think? Yeah, if you were a zombie. Um... I'm not sure if I understand Simons are capable of higher cognition though. Geez, Yuri. Because it's like they eat brains, that was a joke. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, Yuri. Did you do you, you do well? Did you do well? I suppose my form wasn't too bad. Just come on, Yuri. We all know you're a real smarty pants. Bet you acted like, bet you aced like all those subjects. Uh you really know how to put her on the spot, don't you, Natsuki? Answer to your question, Colton, I'm definitely with you. I've never been a fan of exam season. The amount of stress involved, she really wears her temples. <sighs> You have the jungle of damage with your extra connect, extra correlic, correct else? I don't, don't you? Mm hmm. High expectations don't expect life easier. Her face drops for a moment. Well, that's enough of that. Why don't we have a Christmas party? <gasps> Christmas! Oh, like the Halloween one? That was so fun. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm fun for y'all, not for me. Pretty much like that, yeah. That's a wonderful idea. Good way to see, to see the year off. Okay. Can't see why not. Yay. Well, that's pretty, and you name it as well. Just do not prank me again, please. I beg you. Can you, can we, can, you can host it around mine, by the way. I motion towards Monica and Yuri. As I imagine your model student on Twitter, how much the breaks will try somehow. You be correct. First name, Bob, but no humor. Looks at my joke. Bye, didn't go as planned. Anyway, now that we got, got started, yeah. she quickly checks the clock. I'm going to have to get going, so now, so now is a good time to call the session here. I'll see you guys at the party. Let's make a move, Siori. Okay. Hey, I'll see you guys later. We're having a Christmas party at school. I don't want to back in that day of school again. Let's just do it at my fucking house. That's it. Fuck it, I'll do one more day, because that was short. I'll do fucking one more day. One more, that's what I'm doing. Merry fucking Christmas. By all accounts, the day will be a spending day with Sierra. After the club meeting, she texted she texted everyone suggesting the secret Santa idea will buy each other presents. Funnily enough, I ended up with her as my Santa, which puts a damper on things. I'm looking forward to Christmas shopping with her. Uh, fancy go on and message you to come with. As I was in... As as I wasn't Yuri saying she agreed, although typical Yuri and she was quite surprised I wanted to go shopping with her. Some things never change. So any idea what to get Monica? I have some ideas, but not exactly truly green on. Part of the downside of shopping for everyone that's told. If there's any consolation, I don't really know what to get Yuri either. Truth be told, I've never got I've never been great with presents. Maybe a new bow or some new clothes. But women's clothing makes no sense. I've never talked to Yuri about her fashion sense. Uh, well the entire day is ahead of ourselves, Colton. It would be a sensible thing to Hopefully we'll be able to find some things. At this time of the year, future, I've been busy. Seems like I have the entire time decided to come to Christmas shopping day. For the contest family around her, she looks nervous and a clear series in the fan crowd. She's standing quite close to me, her eyes bouncing around my club and passing close. You know, I have an idea. Oh, 
Well, Monica plays the piano, right? So I imagine she's going to be into music. Have you spoken to her about what kind of band she likes? Any music? Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, she discusses about her musical preferences, but while her tastes aren't exactly comply with tend to be littered. She has a privilege towards music that has clearly been clever wordplay. If I recall correctly, she, hasn't, she wasn't much fan of the rap, although she enjoys the patience that we have on goes into rapping. Much like poetry, lyrics can be about the blah, blah, blah. The effects of music can be incredible, not to listeners, but the artists themselves. Take the famous singer Freddie Mercury. Outside of his band, well, he was shy and rather introverted. But really, I've always seen him really as a flame boy with confidence. When he was on stage, you really like he owned the home room. Uh, but you see, it. That was the only way he was on stage as much a performer. He was, of course, a bold, competent, robust as you think. She stares off dreamily at Lost in Flaw. Gary? Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to go off like on tangent. Anyway, yes. I think the music store will be a fine place to start. Let's make a move, shall we? Everything's in Japanese. I hope it's Japanese. Uh, thankfully, the music shop is much quieter in the streets outside. As predicted, Yuri visibly left to take a deep breath. Much better. Now, then, where do you suppose we should start? If I remember correctly, correctly, Monica has been, hasn't been playing the has been hasn't been playing the piano for a long time. She must be a Villanova. So, as my eyes wander, give her a fucking who is a piano player? I don't know. How about these? Looking at curiously. It's basically a guide to how to clap and play popular songs on the piano. I flipped through her check in the description on the back. Note for note, quickly can change for me. Oh, she flips through the pages. I never heard Monica discuss these arts before, so she might not even learn how to play with any of these songs. No, not that you should mention it. No, you should, I don't know, it means not defensive or anything. Uh, it wasn't dismissive. You're, you're pretty smart to bring, bring up. It was just a suggestion. Let's keep looking. It was tempting to get serious something from here as well. I knew what her taste would like when younger, but I have no idea if they changed. Now, I'd probably best come with her one day. I remember when Connor was talking about this song. I peered over, she was looking, huh? The retro aisle. Did you know she played songs too? If I remember correctly, she appealed to more men stuff than What's more, the song is fairly to the store. And after describing the castaway lost his teeth, she was slowly losing all hope. After a minute, it's been a year since she, since he, he wrote his SOS message. But describes so how much resigned his faith for the family will cut off the world and no one to save him despite his efforts. But one day he wakes up realizing there are bottles he had around, so he realizes that other people have closed his eyes. Are we talking about Lincoln Park? The entire told himself, wasn't that quite listening in? The power of only assuming they can go in the world despite loss of all. Man, a conversation between you and Malik will probably go on for hours and distillation to go by. You're really looking to that stuff, don't you? Sorry, I didn't mean. I know it's just weird, definitely. Uh, it's not weird. I think it's really cool you take this kind of song based lyrics and metaphor Satan. It's not something I really do myself, but it's something powerful, right? Really, really. Don't be ashamed of who you are, Yuri. You've got all of you got your interest. That's great. I'll make it be different since we look down more. Besides, it probably too helps you in school. And did you get any vinyl? You get vinyl song this song? Uh, well, I don't know. If she has a vinyl player. There wouldn't be too much point if she deserve if she doesn't have one. I'm actually ha have another idea for a gift. Which should be, which should be, hopefully, be more dependable. Oh, we're back here again. Back here, yeah. We're Siri and I. We're doing a festival for HH. We came here for supplies. This is the place where we need it, so a little more confident now. Anyway, what do you think you have in mind? Uh, well, I noticed that Monica has her hand written on a lot of things: her poems, her energy's planner, and diary. As well as I noticed, it looked for a pencil pen. These days, these days they're quite or most rare the run points. A fountain pen, huh? Funny you mention it. Uh, actually, if you want to get Secret Santa, probably what I get you. I guess we both appreciate the same things. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure if she would like it. But I was supposed to be more de dependable than a vinyl since she doesn't give any questions to give. Anyway, let's have a look. In the front of, in front of Liza, she's still painfully slotted with a wide variety of fancy looking fountain pens. All different shapes, sizes, colors, and styles. Yuri takes a selection of her choice, handing out which one you can get. She turns them over in hand, bringing them each pen to her lava stick and enable the gas. Excuse me. Being totally honest, I can definitely see her feel it's a little warm. I'm sure that the right person, there's so much people who drive this but for me, there's just one metal stick to hit me. I mean, what can, what, what can I actually do with it? Stop from riding. My one wants a typical reaction when I'm when I'm bored. She calls me over. This one, this one tempts me the most. What do you think? Um, well, it's definitely pretty, but the dark green against the black looks pretty cool. Well, it's pretty really too. I imagine she really likes this one. The last part is exact, isn't exactly true, but this one I'm not really keen to spend lots of time here to shop. You're in a fucking library. It looks like you guys are having to get lost in their own little world, and while I don't mind, you drag it out time. I like how it comes to her bottle of ink too. A nice little touch. I think this one will do just fine. I immediately heave a sigh of relief. I hid Yuri and take a long and shop it. Let's hope it doesn't look past the book out. What will you get to Yuri? Still have no idea. Anything to do with something. Do you know her style of What does Yuri like to do in her free time? Um, sleep? Eat? Yuri sniffles a small laugh. Come on, Colin. 
You're missing an obvious one. I don't think you're being I don't think being clumsy is a hobby. Poetry. Wow. Now I really do feel like an idiot, huh? So I feel like a new notebook and write poems in. Never bought a gift from for a poet before. That's a valid choice, however. Although if I can suggest, hmm well far far be it be far be it for me to tell you what to get her, but given you two history, it would not be uh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be offended, dearie. Well then be would it be getting a personalized present? Something that really reminds you of her? A new notebook of pan as court of course the parcel gift, but they aren't personally personal. Okay, so more personal gift present something that reminds me of her. For instance, let, let's look at her poems. They're really rather imminent, so a reflection of her inner thoughts and heart feelings. Really, I literally like her bottles, Paul man. Wait, that's it. Sorry, I'm not sure if I understand. You can buy little bottles that are limited by lights. If I get a few with all the different colors, they can be metaphors with her happy thoughts she has. Here's eyes left. Oh, that's such a wonderful idea, Colin. Not only be very thoughtful, it's also wonderful how much they're the best poems. I guarantee that she will love it. Haha, uh -huh. really I really surprised myself, don't I? Where would you get such a gift, though? You can order it on the internet. I'll tell you what, actually. Do you want to wrap your... Do you want to wrap your present in your place? I can offer... I can order Sierra's gift. Will you help me with that? Are you sure? I've already taken up a lot of your time, and I hate to. It's Christmas, Yuri. We'll give it a few... Give or take a few days. Come on. If you're sure. You're just going to go to the next day? Okay, then. Whatever. Okay. So we're at the Christmas party. Sadly, I'm going to end the video here because the videos went on too long, but I'm going to do what I did for the last video. I'm going to record this video. I'm not going to have so much fail on my side, but I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my social medias down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.